Hello grade 2 students, welcome to a new lecture. In this lecture, we're going to learn about reptiles. How are reptiles different from other animals? Um, you have to know that uh, all reptiles have a backbone, breathe with lungs, and have dry or scaly skin. Uh, so we're going to observe that some reptiles have legs to move, and we're going to identify some of the body features of reptiles. Now we're going to watch a short video before I start explaining. Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn about reptiles. Reptile is the name for a large group of animals. Reptiles are vertebrates, which means they have backbones. They are also cold-blooded, have scaly skin, and lay eggs. When we say that reptiles are cold-blooded, that does not mean that they are cold. It just means that they cannot keep their bodies the right temperature without help. To warm up, reptiles move somewhere warmer, often a nice sunny rock. To cool down, reptiles move somewhere cooler, perhaps into the water or a nice shady burrow. Because of this, reptiles mainly live places where it does not get too cold. This is probably why reptiles live on every continent except for Antarctica. Their skin is one good way to tell if the animal you are looking at is a reptile or an amphibian. Reptiles' scaly skin is dry and watertight. It may be rough or smooth, dull or shiny but never slimy. If you see an animal that looks like a snake or a lizard, but it has wet or slimy skin, you're probably looking at an amphibian instead of a reptile. Almost all reptiles lay eggs, although some give birth to live young. Unlike bird's eggs which have hard shells, reptile eggs are soft and leathery. Unlike amphibians, Reptiles lay their eggs on land. Even reptiles that spend most of their time in the water, like alligators and sea turtles, lay their eggs on dry land. Reptiles are fascinating creatures and come in many different shapes and sizes. Some people even keep reptiles as pets. Some reptiles make good pets and some would make very bad pets. I hope you enjoyed learning about reptiles today. Goodbye till next time. Friends, today we are going to talk about another group of vertebrates. Today we will talk about... Oh, it almost got me. Today we will talk about reptiles. Reptiles are oviparous animals, meaning they are born from eggs. Their bodies are covered in hard scales. Their legs are really short. Actually, some don't even have legs, like snakes. Some reptiles have a shell, like a turtle. Good morning, turtle! They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. They breathe through their lungs. They usually live in warm places. Did you know that reptiles live longer than any other animal? Some, like turtles, can live up to a hundred years. That's all about reptiles. Ugh. I hope you guys liked it. Ugh. I'm going to get going. I don't think I'm welcome here. Ah! Help! What is the body of a reptile like? You have to know that all reptiles have a backbone, breathe with lungs, and they have dry, scaly skin. Here we can see a lizard. 
a lizard has scales and legs to move here we can see a snake snake has scales and has no legs here we can see a lizard and a snake how are the lizard and the snake alike what do you think they are both reptiles okay and they both have scales now how are they different the snake has no legs while the lizard has legs now here we can see a turtle and a tortoise i'll tell you the difference a turtle loves water and it has webbed feet or flippers these are called flippers but you have to know that it cannot breathe under water it keeps part of its head above water to breathe and I want to tell you that it comes out of the water to lay its eggs okay and it also uses lungs to breathe uh, now let's talk about the tortoise tortoise loves land and it has round feet this is a turtle it has a shell and it has um, dry scaly skin now let's take a look at this turtle can you tell how is a turtle different from a snake or a lizard i'll tell you a turtle has a shell now what can you see here you can see an alligator right uh, why does the alligator keep its nostrils above these are the nostrils why what do you think to breathe right mm, now let's take a look at this how are a fish and a snake alike what do you think they both have no legs um now how are they different the fish lives in water while the snake lives on land one more thing the fish breathes with gills while the snake breathes with lungs because a snake is a reptile here we can see turtle scales and fish scales turtle scales are connected we cannot uh, pull them out while the fish scales are disconnected or detached scales we can pull them to clean the fish now let's take a look and name these animals here we can see a lizard here we can see a snake here we can see a crocodile here we have a turtle and here we have an alligator where do these animals live um some in forests deserts and in water uh, do you think these animals breathe with gills Mm, of course no first because these animals are reptiles and because they live on land not in water are these animals related to fish i mean the lizard snake tortoise and crocodile are they related to fish of course no are they related to frogs no now you have to know that the snake lizard alligator and turtle are reptiles and you have to know that reptiles have dry scales 
they breathe with their lungs okay and you have to know also that some reptiles have legs and some do not okay for example the snake the snake has legs what do you think for example uh, the turtle the turtle has four legs and a shell thank you don't forget to join the zoom session stay safe